Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome back to another one of my Pipedrive training videos. In this video, I'm going to explain how to manage renewals using Pipedrive. This is great if you sell any kind of recurring product or service. Maybe you sell some sort of licensing product, maybe you sell software, or you could even be a mortgage advisor and you need to renew and review like a mortgage or a loan every 12 months. If you have a business like this, you may be wondering, how should I manage that renewal process in Pipedrive? How do I make sure the reports make sense so I can see the value of my initial sales as well as the value of the renewals month over month or year over year? If you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or getting more out of Pipedrive, maybe automating your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Now, what I'm going to show you is by no means the only way to manage renewals in Pipedrive, but this is what I find myself showing most of our clients when they ask how to manage renewals. So firstly, let's look at your pipelines. How should you set up your pipelines to manage renewals? I would suggest having a pipeline, I've just got one here called Sales Pipeline, where you track the initial sale or the initial sign up. For, so the first time that customer reaches out to you, maybe they inquire through your website, and maybe you're selling um, some kind of software subscription for a year. You would create a deal on this sales pipeline and you would move it through the various stages as you sell to that person and get them to sign up for that first year of that you know, product or service that you're selling. Now, when you win the deal, so they agree, yes, we're gonna sign up for a year, you would win the deal, and then we would move on over to a new pipeline. I've got one here called renewals. Now, depending on your business, most of the time we find that renewing a customer for a second year tends to be a bit quicker and easier. Uh, in the sales pipeline, you can see I've got some additional stages here. We need to have an initial discovery meeting, define their needs, send a proposal, get an agreement signed. With renewals, it's generally a bit simpler and easier. So I've got columns here for upcoming renewals, we make contact to discuss the renewal, we send a quote and they agree. There's generally fewer steps. And so that's one of the reasons I've set this up as a separate pipeline is because renewing someone is generally a lot quicker and easier. Now, an important step to make sure the renewals process is tracked properly is you need to create a separate deal for every transaction or every year that they renew. So you would have one deal on the initial sales pipeline to track the initial sign up. And then when they renew at the start of year two, that would be a brand new deal. A mistake we see a lot of clients make is moving the deal from the sales to the renewals pipeline. And this is gonna to lead to inaccurate reporting. It's gonna mess up your conversion numbers. And so to avoid that, and also so that you can build some nice client history of how many years they've renewed, I recommend having a separate deal for every year that they renew. And we can use the automation features in Pipedrive to make this really easy. Now, if you've never used Pipedrive's workflow automation features before, click the video that I'll link up here and uh, go and watch the, the getting started with workflows video before you come back and try and create this. Now, here's an example automation where I've used a deal updated trigger. And you can see I've got some conditions where this automation is only gonna run for deals on my sales pipeline. I don't want this to run on all deals being one on all pipelines. So I'm, I'm only limiting this automation to the sales pipeline. And I only want this to run when the deal status has changed to one. So if I win a deal on the sales pipeline, the automation will proceed. So here's my first action. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a brand new deal, create deal with the same title. I've pulled in my field here. I'm using the same title and I've just put the word renewal at the end. This deal is gonna be linked to the original contact person and organization. I'm just gonna use the same deal value. And I've put this into the upcoming renewal stage on the renewals pipeline. It's gonna be owned by the original deal owner and the expected close date is in one year. So that's gonna allow me to forecast upcoming renewals and revenue that I'm gonna receive next year based on the sales that I close and win this year. So that's my renewal deal it created. And then what I've done is I've created an activity on that deal to contact uh, the customer about an upcoming, um, the upcoming renewal. So this is gonna be a call, and this is gonna be due in 11 months. So one month before they renewal, we're gonna call them and we're gonna discuss the renewal. This activity is assigned to the deal owner, and it's linked with the deal, the org, and the contact person. 
So I've activated the automation and I'm going to click save and let me give you a demo. So let's pretend I've received an inquiry from Elon Musk and he's purchasing a software subscription for me. Now, because this is a first time customer, he's never purchased from me before. I've created this deal on my, my initial pipeline, my sales pipeline. And as you can see, I'm in the final stages here. I've sent my contract. Elon Musk is ready to uh, sign up and get started. Now you can see I've also attached a value to my deal and I've attached, I've, I've created this value using a product. I have this software subscription product and I've said he's buying a, you know, thousand dollar a month for 12 month subscription, or I could do it as just simply, you know, an annual license, $12,000 times one, really depending on how you bill for your product or service. The other thing I can do down here is I can add a subscription to the deal. And I'll link up here another video that I've created that explains how this feature works. This doesn't really change our process at all, but it does give us some additional reporting so I can understand the value of my recurring revenue over time. So I'm also going to add a um, subscription. So we're going to say this is an annual license and this is going to be infinite payments. It's ongoing and we bill every year starting today. So I'm actually going to add a subscription here as well. Now, once Elon signs the contract, he pays, we can mark this deal as one and we get a little celebration on the screen. Now in the background, my automation is running. And if I click on the contact here, I'm on the contact page now, I can see under deals, uh, let's just open up all deals. Firstly, I can see here's the original subscription, $12,000 that I just sold and marked as one today. And here is the brand new deal that was just created on our renewal pipeline. So let's open that up. You can see it's got the same title plus the word renewal at the end. It's got my value and this is now due to be, uh, we're expecting to close this in January next year. And I also have a reminder to call Elon one month before the renewal. With that automation running in the background, this makes my renewals process really easy. I don't have to rely on my sales team to duplicate deals and create reminders on the renewals pipeline. Pipedrive's automation can take care of all of that for me and I'm never ever gonna miss a renewal. I've always got an activity reminding me when to follow up to discuss that new renewal. Now, let me finish this video by explaining a couple of the reports that you can now run based on how we've set things up. I'm now under the insights tab here and I've created this renewals dashboard and on this dashboard I've got some reports that show me the value of deals that I won which were initial sales. So if I open this and show you how it's set up, this is a deal performance report which is showing any deals that I won last year for the sales pipeline. So this is only showing me the value of deals that I won on that sales pipeline. And this represents all the revenue from those initial signups. Feel free to pause the video here if you want to copy how I've set up my X and my Y axis and all these settings. And then what I did is I duplicated this report and I have an identical report, but now showing the renewals pipeline. So with these two reports side by side, I can easily see the value of new signups uh, last year in this case, and the value of all the renewals, the repeat business, the customers who signed up again. So I can now clearly dif differentiate how much revenue I'm getting from each revenue stream. And then below that, I have some conversion funnels. So this is the conversion funnel for my sales pipeline. Again, pause the video here to copy what I've done. And this is showing how of all the deals that I create on my sales pipeline, how many convert into actual paying customers. So that helps me understand how good are we at signing up initial customers. And then I have a similar report for my renewals pipeline. So this helps me understand of the renewal business, the existing customers that we're trying to get to renew for another year, what's our conversion rate. So I've put these all onto a dashboard side by side so I can easily compare the revenue and the conversion for the initial sale and the renewals. And this is another reason why I've chosen to set up the pipelines separately is so that I can report on deals one and funnel conversion separately for the initial sale and renewals. So that is a look at how to manage a renewals based business using Pipedrive. As you can see, it's quite simple when you understand the mechanics of how the reporting works. And if we have some automation set up so that you don't have to worry about duplicating deals and setting reminders. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.